Welcome everyone. I must start by apologising. I've been out of action for a little while. I am really sorry, but I've been dealing with quite a bit in my personal life and I've been putting everybody else and everyone else's needs and everything else that needs to be done before my own. I guess that is a mother thing, but I don't know if it's necessarily the right thing to do, but that's what I'm guilty of at the moment. But luckily, being on the design team for Antivera Scrap and Craft, it makes me take time out to actually relax and do something that I love to do. The theme for July in Auntie Vera Land is get out of the house and we are documenting the crazy times that we are all currently living in. So for my first layout, I decided to document the start of the whole crazy times, the shortage of toilet paper. I mean, who would have thought? The collection we are working with for the month of July is from Photoplay and the collection is called Living the Quarantine Life, which is very appropriate. So at the start you would have seen me picking my papers to go with this gorgeous layout and now I'm just inking my matting and I did use the Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo but it didn't work for me this time so I'm just going over it with the Mementos Grey Flannel Ink and that beautiful green paper there, it doesn't really work for me and I decided to change it out for this lovely red paper from Photo Play and it's called This Happened and I just love how the layout goes from here. Now the molecule paper that you see there, the or the, or the lovely colourful molecules there, that is called, now let me see if I remember, COVID-19, very appropriate. So I did cut a strip of the toilet paper, uh, paper and that paper is called Covidiot or Covidiot, well, well it is Cove and everyone was acting like idiots so I just cut a strip of it. I did try to use the whole toilet paper roll but it was just a little bit too much. Then you saw me go in with one of the other papers that's got all these lovely little sayings on it and I just did some fussy cutting and I love that t-shirt. The actual t-shirt says I survived the great toilet paper crisis of 2020 which really it is quite funny. So loving this paper here and it's just got a few little sayings that I thought went well with this layout. So I landed up cutting out the one that says empty shelves panic buying and I thought there was another one but obviously no panic buying so they're the ones that I decided to use because I thought it went really well with the layout and I've also got the ephemera pack from photo play also called living the quarantine life and I love that stack of toilet paper rolls so I also did some other um, well I did more fussy cutting so you see all those little toilet paper rolls that are sort of like in a little Hang in, they look like a chandelier of toilet papers. I couldn't resist fussy cutting them out, but my gosh, did that take some, that was a labor of work, let's put it that way. But uh, I do like the end, the end result, so I'm glad I took the time to do that. And I must admit that I am one of these people that actually finds fussy cutting re relaxing, so I quite enjoy the process. So back to the layout, uh, the toilet papers just weren't jumping off the page because of all the white that's happening on the molecule paper, COVID-19. So I just put a scrap of this gorgeous black paper that has a, a slight grey pattern on it. And that was just all it needed to help it pop off the layout and more of those lovely ephemeras from the ephemera pack and that circle there just it's the molecule and it just says oh what does it say COVID-19 so that lands up going in the center and I had to use the 2020 of course because well that's the year that all this craziness happened and then I decided it just needed something to help this layout pop so after a lot of consideration I decided to go to my stash take out a black piece of cardboard which I'm actually running low on so I have to get some more black cards cardstock and I trim down my red background paper just a little bit and that will be adhered on but what I'm also going to use the black cardstock is also for the that COVID-19 paper and I'm also going to use the inside of it to frame my mat so my photos are going to have a second mat with this black cardstock and that just brought everything together and it helped everything to pop and stand out from what I consider a collection that has a a very bright feel and I'm not sure if I really really my style tends to I don't 
well, I don't think my style is to work with these really bright colours, but I am happy with the way that this layout turned out. And I guess these are strange times. And even though this is not my usual style of scrapping, I quite, I quite like how it turned out. So there that is. I'm just using that. And then I'm going to map my COVID-19 paper. And I'm liking how that's looking. So as you can see, I've got that strip of the toilet paper down the bottom there just to add a bit of it because obviously this is all about documenting the craziness of there being no toilet paper and you know people fighting about toilet papers in the aisles and just the whole craziness of it all so then I decided oh what is going to be my title and my title in the end lands up being crazy times and I must admit I did spend a considerable amount of time trying to get the title right and sitting how I wanted it I don't know why I do that sometimes I mean who's really going to care about how wonky the title is or isn't but anyway uh, that's the way it is and that this is the finished layout which I actually quite like so thank you all for watching and supporting the channel I will leave a link to Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft in the description box below and yeah, please pop in and check out her little online store. She's got great things at great prices and everything that you've seen on this layout is at reduced prices. So go in, pop in and take a look. All right, bye everyone and take care.